We should start hearing these kind of like ghostly things following notes around. You can sort of hear it in there. So anyway, this is this is kind of the setting where I leave it at. Like the shift shift is about right here, depth is about there, and and again, this bass setting is for kind of like a wateriness. Again, using the mix knob, it's subtle, very subtle, very 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 subtle. But that that's not the full point here. The point is this tilt knob. So if I play a chord or something, this E chord I've been playing, then hold the tilt knob down. You hear it start like running away. You hear, and because the rate is so slow, depending on whether you've caught the LFO rising or falling, you'll hear your pitch either kind of rise or fall afterwards. And, and you know, if I turn the shift knob all the way up, it's basically like having the tilt knob, the tilt button pressed down the whole time, right? So we're gonna, he we're gonna hear these like overtones jump out very slowly over time. So you, which that sounds, that doesn't sound good to me, like, full on, right? Like, but what, what's interesting, and hopefully what you just noticed right there, is there's certain spots where it, like, resonates, where it just, like, it kind of, like, blooms out. Um, and so that's why, what's cool about Old Blood Noise, so we bring the shift knob back to where it doesn't really go wild, like that. And then you just, when you want to bring in some of those fun overtones, hold the tilt knob down and because the rate is so slow um, your pitch will either start going up or down but very slowly so you can you can stop before it gets insane you know <laughs> 